Because with the fictional characters, I could uh, play with their names, uh, you know, with Johnny and and uh, um, with the 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 bordellos, you know, and, and that wonderful street in Robinson Street. Uh, there was a lot to, to play with, but yes, you are when you're grounded in history. George Washington is George Washington, but he's not an historical George Washington, he's a mythical George. There's a very real difference. I wasn't, and, and some readers can't deal with that. When you invent a love affair for the first president of the United States, they get very anxious. But I thought it was essential that you see his, his sensual side, that you see uh, the man in his faults and in, in, and in his virtues at the same time. The publisher was very uh, jumpy about the notion of a tale. They wanted a novel, but a novel of the American Revolution just doesn't work. A tale of the American, you know, in other words, it's, it's always the music of the sentence that determines everything. And if the music doesn't work, I throw out everything else. I just can't live with this. It's the sound, uh, you know, of... Uh, tale is much more powerful because it it also gives you the image of a literal physical tale, like a lizard's tail, and so it's a much more powerful word to me.